Amanda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and we are whipping up something sweet indeed in the kitchen today, homemade vanilla ice cream. Now I promise that once you see how easy and delicious this is, you will not be going back to store-bought ice cream anytime soon. I have our ingredients all laid out here. We're going to use three cups of heavy whipping cream, two cups of half and half or light cream, I'm using half and half today, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, which has been chilled, and four teaspoons of vanilla extract. So really simple, we're just going to mix those together in a large bowl here. Now please note, if you wanted to turn this into chocolate ice cream, at this point you would just add one cup of chocolate flavored syrup. Um, so you could certainly switch it up that way. Just note that it won't harden as much as this will, because um, you'll, you know, you'll have that extra liquid, so it will take longer. It might be a little bit more soft than this vanilla ice cream would. Now this condensed milk is almost like, almost like caramel, so you really want to have something to help, help move it out. Perfect. So we're just going to mix this together, and after this is all combined, I'm going to pour it um, into my ice cream maker, into the canister. So depending upon the type that you'll use, whether you're using an old-fashioned traditional um, ice cream maker where you actually turn it yourself, which is a lot of fun, um, or if you're using an electric one like I have, you're just going to pour it into the canister as soon as this is all mixed. How much fun is this? Okay, so all my ice cream mixture is in my little ice cream maker. Um, mine called for it to actually be on as I poured it in, so just make sure you read um, your manufacturer instructions before doing it so you follow all the instructions. Um, now, this recipe makes enough to fit in like a four to five quart um, ice cream maker. It fit perfectly for me. Um, if for some reason yours is a little bit smaller, you can just pour as much as you can fit in and then refrigerate the excess and just make a second batch later on. So I'm going to let this continue stirring and churring and making. Um, it will be anywhere between five and 30 minutes until it gets that nice custardy consistency. Um, the ice cream maker and the ice cream maker, like a traditional kind as well, will not make that hard store-bought consistency that we're used to. To do that, we're going to have to do an additional step, which is called ripening. You don't have to do that, but if you want that nice, hard, you know, Baskin-Robbins consistency, you are going to need to ripen it. For this, because we have an insulated canister, once I'm finished with this, I'll remove the ice cream from the canister, put it in a separate freezer safe container, make sure it's completely airtight, and I will put it in the freezer for about four hours until it's nice and hard. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this keep churning and we will come back when it's at that nice custardy consistency and ready for ripening. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and my ice cream is beautiful, perfect, custardy, delicious. So check out this consistency. So this is what it's gonna look like. And you're welcome to serve it this way if you want kind of like old fashioned, old school, unripened ice cream. But we're gonna take it a step further and really harden it up. So I've turned it off. Let's take this out. This is called the dasher. Extra bonus point for later. Okay, that hang out over here. We're just gonna pour this now into the airtight freezer safe container because I'm gonna ripen it. So I'm just gonna pour it in here and this is going to ripen in the freezer. Get that cover on and in it goes into the freezer for about four hours until we are ready to eat our homemade vanilla ice cream. Okay, so it's been four hours. Our ice cream has been ripening. Did you know that ice cream could even do such a thing? So check out how beautiful and delicious it looks. Look at that. It's fluffy, it's soft, but perfectly hardened. So sugary delicious. I'm gonna wait until I'm off camera to gobble this up, but it's ready now. You can serve it, top it with your favorite ice cream topping, maybe a little bit of hot fudge, some strawberry sauce, or by itself, frankly, whatever you eat this with, it's going to be totally delicious and an absolute crowd pleaser. And there you have it. Now you know how to make homemade vanilla ice cream. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.